Example one: The molecular chemical equation below describes the reaction between barium nitrate and ammonium sulfate in aqueous phase. Please answer the following questions: A. Please write down the complete ion equation. B. Please write down the net ion equation. C. What are the spectator ions? Before we answer these problems, let's review some basics about the complete ion equation, the net ion equation, and the spectator ions. To find the net ion equation and the spectator ions from a molecular chemical equation, there are two questions you need to answer for every reactant and every product of a molecular chemical equation. Question number one: Is it soluble? Question number two: Is it a strong electrolyte? If the answers of both question one and question two are yes, the chemical will be in ionic form. Write down the cation and the anion to the new equation. If the answer to any of the two questions is no, the chemical will remain in molecular form. Just copy down what you're given to the new equation. After you go over all chemicals of molecular chemical equation, what you get is called a complete ion equation. If an ion appears on both sides. A complete ion equation in exactly the same form. The ion is called a spectator ion. After all spectator ions are deleted from a complete ion equation, what you have left is called a net ion equation. This equation is called a molecular chemical equation because all chemicals appear in molecular forms. Let's start from a molecular chemical equation. Now let's try to answer the two questions for every chemical in the molecular chemical equation. The first chemical is barium nitrate. Let's look at the solubility rules. Let me emphasize: you have to remember all these rules during an exam or a quiz. You will not be given these rules. You have to remember all of them. There are a total of seven rules. Let's look at rule number one: all ionic compounds that contain nitrate or acetate are soluble. The first compound is barium nitrate. It does contain nitrate. Therefore, according to rule number one, it is soluble. The answer to question number one is yes. Well, let's look at question number two. Is it a strong electrolyte? Barium is a metal. Nitrogen and oxygen are non-metals. As we have learned in class, a compound formed from metal and non-metals are ionic compounds, and all ionic compounds are strong electrolytes. Therefore, the answer to question number two is yes. As we just reviewed, if the answers for question number one and question number two are yes, we need to break down the compound into cation and anion. Now let's look at the second compound, ammonium sulfate. Now let's look at rule number five. All ionic compounds that contain ammonium or alkali metal ions are soluble. Well. The compound we are looking at is ammonium sulfate. It does contain ammonium ion. Therefore, the answer for question number one is yes. Well, let me tell you another trick. If you are given the state of the chemical, you can tell whether it is soluble or not. If it says aqueous, that means it is soluble. If it says S means solid, L means liquid, or G. Means gas. They are insoluble. Then let's look at question number two. Is it a strong electrolyte? Well, as I told you earlier in class, when we consider a compound is an ionic compound or molecular compound, we can treat ammonium ion as a metal ion. Therefore, this is a combination between a metal ion and non-metals. Therefore, it must be an ionic compound and. We know that all ionic compounds are strong electrolytes. Therefore, the answer to question number two is yes. Since the answers for both question number one and question number two are yes, we need to break this down into cation and anion. Well, let's look at the third compound, barium sulfate. As I just mentioned a moment ago, if the state is S means solid. It is insoluble. We can also use the solubility rules to judge whether it is soluble or not. According to rule number three, these two compounds are insoluble. Barium sulfate 
is one of the two. I would say that you have to remember these two compounds are insoluble. As we mentioned a moment ago, if the answer to any of the two questions is no, we should keep the compound in molecular form. Well, let's look at the last compound, ammonium nitrate. According to the solubility rules, this compound should be soluble. We can use rule number one, all ionic compounds that contain nitrate or acetate are soluble. Ammonium nitrate contains nitrate. We can also use rule number five, all ionic compounds that contain ammonium are soluble. Therefore, this compound is soluble. Let's try to answer question number two. Is it a strong electrolyte? As I said a moment ago, when we consider whether a compound is an ionic compound or molecular compound, we can treat ammonium ion as a metal ion. Therefore, this compound should be an ionic compound. All ionic compounds are strong electrolytes. Therefore, the answer for question number two is yes. Then we need to break this down into cation and anion. This equation is called a complete ionic equation. According to the definition of the spectator ions, nitrate appears on both sides of the equation, and they are in exactly the same form. Therefore, nitrate is a spectator ion. Ammonium ion also appears on both sides of the complete ion equation in exactly the same form. Therefore, ammonium is also a spectator ion. If we take away the spectator ion from the complete ion equation, we should get a net ion equation. Well, we're done. Can you follow my example? to answer the following problems. Can you follow my examples to work out this problem? Can you follow my examples to answer this problem?